Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode is powered by Perfect Sports Nutrition. Today's video is a preview of the workouts and lessons that you will get at bazookatraining.com. If you like it, head over to the website bazookatraining.com, sign up and get all these workouts. There's over 300 to learn from. All right, let's get into today's video. Boom. Welcome back to bazookatraining.com here in the bag work section. Today we're focusing on boxing with angles. So we're gonna start with a little bit of a warm up now. When doing angles, it's very important to kind of focus on lines on the floor so you can see the angles. So again, you, we use the puzzle mats, you can create a little tape line. And I even recommend putting a tape line in front of your bag like we do in the tutorial section to practice these types of things, okay? So the main thing about creating angles is you wanna angle to the right or you can angle to the left. All right, so that's what we're gonna start with. So when your foot's on the center line, this is creating your angles. And before you create an angle, you need to create feints. So create, throw some punches. Now you're gonna notice the easiest way to create an angle is gonna be going to the outside foot, okay? So that's our first one. You're gonna throw a combination and then you're gonna pivot, all right? So you can pivot to the left or you can pivot to the right and throw a combination, all right? So that's the first start, is pivoting to that position. Now, it can get in very big detail going left and right, but we're gonna pick the basic ways to be able to do it, okay? So throw a combination, you pivot and create an angle. Now, you can throw this way, create and take an angle. Now, you're gonna notice, sometimes you wanna take a step out before you create an angle. So I might take a step to the left and then pivot out. And you're gonna notice when you do that on the bag, you can see this position, I wanna step out before I take that angle. Because if I just pivot nice and close, it's evading the shot, but you're gonna find yourself very difficult to be able to get a good position to attack, okay? So as you'll notice here, I take a step out and then I pivot. Now, from a boxing standpoint, when you go to the right sometimes, they might teach you to step across. And I mean, we've always said bad habits here in kickboxing, but if they're not chopping your legs, it's not wrong to take a step here and then create that right angle, okay? Or if you don't wanna cross your feet, you can throw your combination, just kinda of slide into that 90 degree angle. So you're forcing the 90 degree angle every single time, okay? So that's the first one we're gonna end up practicing on the bag, okay? So when we look at the bag here, you're gonna start by throwing the first combination. Now, if you're lucky to have a bag that swings a little bit, you wanna time it with the swing. The swing comes, I pivot, and then I create my attack. Now, you have two options when doing this here, going to the left. You can throw your left hook, okay? That's gonna be our first one, going to the left. So you can hook to the left to create the angle, or you can step, create the angle, then throw your rear hand combination from there, okay? Now the combinations you throw once you get the angle, that's all up to you to explore, but a good way to get to the angle is with using hooks, okay? So always want you to feint, throw some straight punches first, okay? So I need you to feint first, throw a, a straight punch combination. It could be feint, one, two, double jab, anything. I need a straight combination, one, two, one. And then you're gonna take the step out. Now with the step out, I can do the check hook. I check hook from that position, and then I throw the combination. Or like I said, straight punch, feinting, okay? You step, you create, and then go into your cross right away. Those are your options, okay? So that's the easiest way to create that angle, okay? Outside, step out, spin open. Now, like I said, you could have different, you can step in, hit the body. Now, even creating this angle, I could step and pivot to it. Okay, that was the other option. Option two now, which I'm giving you, is we use an angled shuffle to that position, okay? So what I'm doing here now, after I throw, you know, maybe a nice cross, my back foot replaces my lead foot, and I circle to the side. This is what's called an angled shuffle. So instead of pivoting to it, see how I pivot? I'm angle shuffling to it. Okay, my, my back foot replaces my front foot, okay? So this is what you should be flowing with now, okay? So think, straight punches, either step pivot, throw an attack, or again, fainting, straight punches. Even if I step out, I gallop my way out, okay? So again, I could pivot or 
gallop my way. Two options, okay? Pivot versus gallop. Pivot and then galloping and twisting my body, okay? So I would say if you're a beginner, just keep the little quarter turn pivot. As you get more advanced, this is where I want you to implement that step, okay? So now what we're gonna do is a little bit more challenging and that's going to the right. Now the one we're gonna focus on first is throwing, again, fainting straight combination. If you wanna get fancy, right, and you're a straight boxer or they're not attacking your leg, you can step across, okay, and then pivot your shoulders. That's option one. Or from here, you just slide out to that option, okay? So let's explore. Remember, put the whole system together. Fainting, straight punches, I could step across, then pivot. Okay, you see how I use my left hook becomes very valuable once I take that angle, okay? Or I'm here, set it up faint, I just slide, boom, bang, bang, boom. I'm punching down the guard, right? Here you can't hit, then you end up here, then you're able to get that hook right down your opponent's center guard, okay? So here, again, I could step out. I might even faint. I might even fake a spinning back kick, step out, look, boom, boom, boom. I have my position beautifully to attack from there, okay? Now, that's my first way, the step, the pivot on that side. Now, one of the more difficult ways, okay, is what we call the diamond step. Now, you can do the diamond step in two ways. You can step, okay, see how I take a step and I punch, okay? So my lead hand, I take a step on that little angle and you notice now my lead side, okay, is still in front. So, boom, now I made it across, now I turn my shoulders and now I'm still in my orthodox position. This is a little bit more difficult for most people, okay? So step, and then I shuffle my feet to get that quarter turn, okay? So you're shuffling to get there. Take a step forward, angle off, and then I attack from here, okay? So diamond step. Boom, shift off. Set it up again, fainting, straight punches, step with the back leg forward, then I just exchange my feet perfect 90 degree angle to be able to punch and to power out, okay? So that's stepping to the diamond step. Now I could also kind of skip to it, boom, okay? I shuffle my feet towards it, boom, boom, okay? So I will do this one when I don't have space to move, right? Let's take a look at this line on the floor, right? When I don't have space, I switch, I switch, I stay here. But if my opponent's maybe moving backwards, I can take a step forward and close distance a little bit more, okay? So I can use the switch versus the step, okay, in order to get that right angle, but it depends on the distance of my bag or my opponent, okay? So now that we have the two ways, the pivot and the gallop, as we have on the other side, the the same thing, the pivot as well as the, the gallop, or you can call it the shuffle. Now you're gonna set it up and go and alternate ways, okay? For this last round, it's flow. So fainting, I might come here, create this angle, attack. Reset to the center, create another attack, come to the right. Circle your way back to the center. Now, the one thing I don't wanna see when you're doing this flow round is after you create one of the angles, right? Don't just drop your hands, walk your way back to center, okay? The fight's still going on, keep it interactive. So I want you to jab back to the center, roll back to the center, enter, exit out. I might, for example, come in here, create this angle. I don't wanna just walk in here, I might exit out, then come back to the center. Back to my fainting straight punches, boom. Look, I create the other angle. This time, I'm gonna jab my way back in, okay? And then attack my way. So I can exit out, triangle step my way back to the center, right? We know what that means. So I'm here, I angle, I could step out, triangle back in, so I'm safe. Enter again, attack, okay? Boom, come back out, circle, or I'm gonna come back in, Boom, boom, jab my way back to the center. Creating a center attack, boom, come off. Boom, jab my way back in, okay? So jab your way back in, triangle your way back in, but the idea is get to the angle. Now, if I just try to get to an angle without setting it up, it's never gonna work. If I'm standing here and all of a sudden my opponent moves over here, I'm gonna adjust and not give them the angle. It's human nature, distance control, it's fighting. So in order to get the angle, you have to get your opponent to stay there. You have to get them to shell up. This is why every time before you angle, I have the boys in the back fainting, right? 
When I think someone might drop their hands and stop their feet to block, next thing you know, I've created one of the angles. Or all of a sudden, instead of jamming all these straight punches in your face, you're trying to block them. I'm blinding you with these light, occupying probe shots. Next thing you know, you're over here, and I just ate a power shot down my guard. So the angle is beautiful to split the guard. Smaller, subtle angles tend to work better as you get more advanced, but don't limit yourself. Now, once you get creative, don't just go left, right, left, right. Create different enters and setups and change up types of angles. Now, you might even want to punch to the body as you go to the angle. I might go body, head, body, you know, so you can mix up levels, mix up angles, mix up your enter and exits. This is how you make this type of skill and this type of lesson more advanced, all right? Creating angles, very important concept in all martial arts. Learn it. Subscribe to it, think about it, create a system around it because it's going to help you out once you start sparring and fighting. All right, we'll see you next time here at bazookatraining.com and at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.